Meanwhile, evidence continues to mount. The danger of death from heart attack is three times as great among smokers as among non-smokers. On the basis of research in the country's hospitals and laboratories, there is no longer any doubt that lung cancer has reached epidemic proportions. Doctors are seeing more and more x-rays like this, with suspicious shadows which turn out to be cancer. And surgical operations for lung cancer are now performed on approximately 40,000 patients a year. Some of them can be saved, but the outlook, particularly for the older patients, is not encouraging. The cold facts are that 19 out of 20 surgical cases cannot be cured. And, in the view of the nation's medical men, this is the reason. So smoke if you dare, but remember, say the doctors, you've been warned. That is sick. That is just sick. Imagine anybody seeing a thing like that all over the country. Almost makes you want to stop smoking, eh, Mr. Remshaw? Well, well, where were you when we started showing this thing? I was out getting the, uh, the thinking men, uh, testimonies. You know, the layouts? The, the what? The thinking men. You know, the men who think for the new campaign. No, 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 Farley, it's too late for that sort of thing. You can't smoke and think anymore. Nowadays, thinking men are thinking about lung cancer, for heaven's sake. Well, you heard what that man said up on the screen. Farley, we've got trouble. Big trouble. But sales are up, Mr. Ramshaw. Sure, sales are up. But how long do you think they're going to stay up with doctors and cancer people coming up with spooky stuff like that? No, no, Farley, we've got to start looking ahead. Uh, how, how do you mean, uh, Mr. Ramshaw? Well, if it's like they say, we're losing our older smokers. Now, if the old customers are dying off, that means we've got to find and look around for some new ones and fast. Smart thinking, Mr. Ramshaw. Yes, it is. Where do we look? In the school. We've got to get the kids. Get them while they're young. Oh, we've been doing that, Mr. Ramshaw. Uh, you know that, uh, that sports star campaign with the baseball players, football players, that was for the kids. That was well, for the college them. kids, you see. And nowadays, they won't even let us advertise in their college publications anymore. No, no. Besides, you've got to get something for the younger kids. How young? Real young. High school. Well, high school, junior, high, grade school, kindergarten, babies, I don't care. But you've got to get them while they're young, you see. Now, the, 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 the breakfast food boys have understood that for years. Got to get them while they're young. You see, Farley, you get a kid when he's young enough, he'll stick with you for the rest of his life. Kids are like sheep. You start him on Finsters, he'll stay on Finsters. Beautiful, Mr. Remshaw. Beautiful. That's the slogan for the new campaign. You start him on Finsters, he'll stay on Finsters. Oh, don't be an idiot. You can't use that. I, 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 of course not. I was just joking. Well, we got to come up with something. Look, Farley, you're supposed to be the creative genius around here, aren't you? Right. Well, I want you to sock the kids with a brand new campaign, you see? And between you and me, the theme is, get them while they're young, right? Right. And Farley, yes, Mr. Ramshaw. think of something fast. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Scene one, take 25, music. Roll! Say, mothers, a lot of you have discovered that your baby's need to suck its thumb can be so easily replaced with a more adult habit. Sophisticated mothers all over the country have been switching to the new brand that does the trick. Hi, kids. Say, maybe something special is going to be happening to you, huh? Like uh, your birthday or your sixth grade graduation. When mom and dad ask you what you really want, will they be surprised? when you tell me. These boys and girls volunteered to make an honest comparison test between Finsters and another popular brand. They did not know that they were being photographed by our hidden camera. Notice closely now as these boys and girls look over the product. Farley, you're sick. But, Mr. Remshaw, you said get them while they're young. Those things will get anything while they're Not young. Not that they're... way, you idiot. I ought to fire you. I'm sorry, Mr. Remshaw. You didn't use your head? I'm sorry. Sick? Well, all right, all right. Trouble with you, Farley, is you don't do things scientifically. Yes, sir. This is an age of science, you know. Now, if the doctors can make tests, so can we, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't suppose you've been downstairs in the lab lately. Well, I've been spending quite a lot of time down there. More filter tests, sir? No, ho, ho. <laughs> Psychology tests. Oh, 
psychology test. Yeah. You see, if you want to sell cigarettes to kids, you've got to you've got to find out what they think about smoking, and you've got to be scientific about it. Come along with me now. I'll show you what I mean. Yes, sir. Uh, now. Uh... Good morning, Otto. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I think you know Farley Timken here. You've met, no doubt. Oh, how do you do? Yes. Otto, here's our company psychologist. Well, Otto, tell us what you've been up to. Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, I've been running some word association tests. And we got some teenagers in here, and we asked them to write down the first word that came to mind when they thought of smoking. Uh, that's scientific? Oh, my, yeah. Yeah, well, tell Farley what you came up with when you last gave the test. Get this now. Well, when the boys and girls of America thought of smoking, they thought of money, sophistication, girls, power, and Brigitte Bardot. <laughs> well, there you are. Now, Farley, those are the images you should have been using, right, you no, see. You're right, That's right, good work, Otto, good work. Uh, but, uh, sir, I did another series of tests the other day. Uh, oh, yes, more word association tests, eh? Yes. I, I like them. They're good. Well, there's been a change in attitude. I, What's that? I can't understand. Well, now, tell me, for heaven's sake, what did they think of when they thought of smoking? They thought of, um, tar, yes. smoker's cough, forest fires, phlegm, and, uh, lung cancer. That's sick! That's just sick! But I can't help it if that's the image they get when they think of smoking. Now listen here, Otto. You've got to destroy every last one of those cards and fast. And if you dare breathe a word of this to anybody, I'll fire you. But I, I can't change the uh, results of a scientific test. Yes, you can, Otto. And listen, no more word association tests, you hear? They're not reliable. Yes, sir. Farley? Uh, yes, sir. Think of an image. Uh, sex. No, no, that won't do. No, we've tried that. Well, perhaps we could combine it with something else. Mm, such as? Oh, like, uh, mountains, uh, breezes, puppies, you know, innocent things, alive things, full-bodied. You know what I mean? Bodied, body. Well, I don't know about an image like bodies. It kind of makes you think of death, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. Mm. Yes. Well, do what you can, huh? And no more word association tests, you hear? Yes, sir. Mm. Well, as far as long as we're down here, we might as well go see what the chemists are doing. All right, yeah. Uh, how long have we had chemists, sir? Well, ever since we found out that if we wanted the test results to make us look good, we'd darn well better do our own testing. Here's the last barley. Come on in. Listen. You there. What's your name? Lumpkin, sir. Some bad Lumpkin. L Lumpkin, eh? Yes, sir. I just found how it's a 12 well, Will you take that mask off, please? Your, run, sir. Your, your mask. Your mask. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lumpkin. Well, uh, what test are you running today, Lumpkin? A uh, car and nicotine test, sir. Oh, what have you found? Oh, bad news, Mr. Remshaw. Bad news. Oh, my. Well, uh, what other tests are you running? Uh, the rat test, the rat test. What's that? Uh, we teach rats how to smoke, and then we watch them. No? Oh, what happened? Uh, they cough and try to quit, but we don't let them. And then? Uh, bad news, Mr. Remshaw, bad news, sir. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, what about filters? Anything on filters? Filters, yes, yes, yes. We've, uh, we're trying everything. Uh, what is all this stuff? Grape leaves, cotton balls, bacuana, gunpowder, cat fur, and uh, activated charcoal. Uh, what's activated charcoal? I don't know. You put all that stuff in a filter? Yes. It doesn't leave much room for the tobacco, actually. The most important quarter inch in smoking today is the part that burns. Yes, well, you better keep working on filters. That's uh, a very important job. Yeah, uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, uh, all those uh, filters in the cigarette, doesn't that get in the way of the taste of the smoke? Of course it does. That's why we've been using the new, uh, stronger tobacco. Isn't that right there, Lumpkin? Right. Yeah. Very close. Oh, well, look. Uh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it and don't think about it. Nobody else does, Farley, so why should you? Sorry. Well, back to work, eh, Lumpkin? Yes, sir. Yeah. Look, uh, Mr. Remshaw, I don't think the scientific approach is the one we want. But we need sort of a fresh approach, you know what I mean? Something. Say, Farley. By George, you know what we've been overlooking? What we've been forgetting? Smoking is fun! It is? Well, of course it is. Of course smoking is fun. Now look, what do kids want nowadays anyway? Do they want serious stuff or, or important stuff? No, they want fun. And that's what we're going to give them, morning, noon, and night. Fun, fun. Derange all my specimens, sir. That's the idea of fun. You see, if you tell a kid that smoking is fun, he'll believe you. They don't want all of this scientific junk. What they want is 
fun. Now look, I want a brand new campaign. I want to see our commercials pushing fun. I want to see lots of kids smoking and having fun. Look, Farley, here, here's your new slogan now. Have fun with the Finster. You got that now. Have fun with the Finster. Yes, I did. Sit down. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Farley, we've got some trouble. We've got some big trouble. What do you mean, sir? Well, they don't like this young fun campaign of ours one little bit. Matter of fact, they don't like anything we're doing. Who doesn't like anything we're doing? Well, just about everybody. There's the Surgeon General's office and the cancer people and the medical societies and, and the TB people and the heart people and the school people. Well, here, have you seen these reports? Look, it says here that the one-pack smoker has 11 times the chance of dying of lung cancer. The two-pack smoker has 26 times the chance of dying. Here's another one that says every cigarette you smoke cuts down your life by five minutes. <coughs> well, look at all of these things. They, here, here, I made a list of some of them. It says filters are no help, says government report. Lung cancer deaths 1,000% higher for smokers. 70% higher death rate for male smokers. They're even teaching a five-day plan to quit smoking, and they're, get, they're discovering radioactivity in cigarette smoke, for heaven's sake, and the filters don't help a single bit for that. They link smoking with lung cancer, mouth cancer, and bladder cancer. Well, sir, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. That's sick. Sick. What does it all mean, sir? It means we've got trouble. Big trouble. Big, big trouble. Farley, if smoking really does cause lung cancer, what are we going to do? I don't suppose we could tell everybody that lung cancer is good for people. No, no. Well, can't quit smoking, that's for sure. No, no. Mm. How about making cigarettes out of something else? So, uh, cotton lint, uh, or lettuce leaves? Well, what are we going to do with the tobacco we own? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. And you say we can't use that Young Fun campaign. I mean, they won't let us pay kids to smoke Finster. No, of course not. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now. Ah, uh, look, I don't think we have to use those kids. But what, what do kids want to be when they grow up, huh? Well, I don't know. Rich, I guess. Rich? Well, that, that too. But, no, they want to be, they want to be big, strong, tough, good with the chicks. Tough. I don't get it. Look, that, uh, that's the, uh, the idea for the new campaign. See, we, we use the kind of guys that kids want to grow up to be. Uh, tough guys. Guys who are too tough to care. What do you mean? That's a slogan for the new campaign. He's too tough to care. Too tough to care about what? Lung cancer. Can you see it now? Here's this guy, see? And uh, he, he's read all the reports. Uh, smoking is bad for him, uh, et cetera. But does he care? Does he stop smoking? Is he scared? No. Why? Because he's too tough to care. Too tough to care. Say, Farley, there's something in that, you know. Oh, I kind of like that. Well, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> too yeah. tough to care. Tough to care. <laughs> right. uh, Miss Jackson, <laughs> send in that silly artist we hired and, and tell him to bring Why his pencil. Too? I need him right away. Yeah, yeah. and also an uh, easel. And an easel, yeah, the whole right, thing. Right, yeah. Beautiful. You're a genius. Too You're tough to care, I Farley. Oh, yeah. Yes, I did. I did. You got your pencil? Draw me an artist's conception. Conception? Yes, yes. Draw me a man who's too tough to care. I beg your pardon. Well, hurry up, you idiot. What does a man look like when he's too tough to care? Uh, he's an outdoor type. Yes, he's about 30 or 32. All right, and uh, he uh, he's uh, very uh, suntanned and handsome. In a rugged sort of way. Right, and uh, he likes vicious things, violent things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Can he have a tattoo? Well, yeah, give him a tattoo. What's sure, but, but he isn't stupid, you know. I mean, he's, he's smart in a rugged sort of way. Yeah, you're like a cowboy college professor. Right, and he likes the chicks, <laughs> and the chicks <laughs> like him, and he's too <laughs> tough to care. <laughs> Beautiful! Oh, <laughs> stop <laughs> that! <laughs> big, <laughs> big Head Frames, the demolition expert. Danger is his business. Dynamite's no scare. Fisters are his cigarette. He's too tough to care.
Jenkins here test race cars, see how well they'll wear. No time to light a finster. But he's too tough to scare. <laughs> Black Mike works the gas main, always takes a dare. He dared to smoke a finster. He's too tough to care. Charlie cleans the windows, dangers in the air. Two hands to light a finster. But he's too tough to care. Ah! Um. <laughs> wonderful, Farley. Just wonderful. That's what we want. Farley, it's just wonderful. Well, thank you very much, sir. And they can't accuse us of conning those kids with the young fun anymore, you know? And there's no end to the tough guys we can use. While there's uh, yes. ranchers, yes. bullfighters, yes. mountain climbers... Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful. 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 <laughs> Farley, you've earned yourself well, a raise. thank you very much, uh, sir. I think we've done it. I really think we have done it. What do you say we go out and celebrate, Farley? I think we've earned it, sir. So do I. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, have a finster. <laughs> <laughs> you must be kidding. Let's go. Uh, oh, all right. Good man. <laughs> Every year, tobacco companies spend $200 million to keep people smoking. Last year, 40,000 people died of lung cancer in the United States. Practically all of them were heavy smokers. An even greater number of smokers die prematurely from heart attacks. Good luck. Mm -hmm.